The red-kneed tarantula lives in the southwestern part of the United States and Mexico. At 4 to 6 inches long and 15 grams in weight, these creatures are ambush predators that hunt from their burrow headquarters. While most spiders use their silk to make webs, tarantulas, on the other hand, use theirs as trip lines, alerting them to prey outside their burrows. Its burrow is normally concealed within vegetation. Occasionally, the spider will wander from its burrow in search of food or mates. Once catching their prey, they will hold on using their forearms and use those fangs to inject lethal venom into the victim. While these guys may seem defenseless from the rear, they actually have special irritating hairs on their abdomens that can be flung at attackers. The red-kneed tarantula is long-lived for a spider, at a full 20 to 30 years in captivity. Although the venom is not potent to humans unless the person is allergic, the Arizona hairy scorpion's venom is deadly to its prey. This 7-inch scorpion is an ambush predator that feeds on insects, spiders, centipedes, small lizards and snakes, other scorpions, and even mice if it can get its claws on them. Like the tarantula, they dig burrows which can be over 8 feet long. These animals are nocturnal. Once catching their prey in their claws, they will stick that stinger into the victim, and the victim becomes paralyzed. Then the prey is subjected by acid spray that dissolves the tissue, allowing the scorpion to literally drink up the remains. Now it's time for the face-off. It's nighttime in the deserts of Mexico and an Arizona hairy scorpion is out looking for food. Nearby, a red-kneed tarantula is waiting in its burrow for prey to stop by for dinner. The scene is set for a fight between two amazing arachnids.
How did the tarantula win this face-off? The scorpion is wandering the desert looking for food when he walks in front of the spider's burrow. The spider's trip lines alert it to food and it strikes. The scorpion can sense something coming from behind him, but he's busy trying to catch dinner. The spider quickly deactivates the stinger because she knows that that's the scorpion's first line of defense. After a quick standoff, the scorpion and spider try to duke it out and try to muscle the other one down to the ground. The spider breaks loose from the fight and shoots hairs at the scorpion, temporarily making it confused, and the spider grabs the opportunity to bite the scorpion. The scorpion didn't stand a chance and is dragged into the burrow as the spider's next meal. Next time, we will watch a fight between two awesome dinosaurian predators as Tyrannosaurus and Spinosaurus go head to head. Thank you.